Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. There is a lot of sunshine and it's such a beautiful day. Everything I bought here is from Ikea and uh, I am looking forward to uh, organize my kitchen and have uh, everything organized and sorted and have a kitchen that I can finally use. So what I bought from Ikea this pillow here is um, a little pillow. This is not for the kitchen, I think. Um, there are a few other items that are not for the kitchen. Mainly is stuff for the kitchen. That, uh, and you know what happens when you are in Ikea. You end up buying things that are so pretty and are useful for other parts of the house. So this is a pillow that I would like to put uh, on the armchair that are going to be in the living room. And so I wanted something that is thin, longer to put uh, along your back when you rest on the armchair. So I bought this one. And then uh, for the kitchen, I bought, because in the kitchen uh, mainly there are drawers uh, everywhere, it's plenty of drawers, I have bought this um, drawers organizers. These are the ones for the Pax wardrobe um, organizers for the drawers, but I'm sure I can use this one for the kitchen to put little packets of food crisps um, to organize um, that kind of food. And I bought two of them because I have many drawers and if I find that they are useful, I will buy more. Then something useful is beans. So these are the perfect size. Um, here I have a unit with two drawers and they fit perfectly. Two at the bottom like that, they slide out. So these are the bins because at the moment there is no bin in here. So I look forward to put those ones into good use. And then this one is not something useful but something very, very practical. I hope it's not broken because it is fragile, it is very delicate. I have seen this in my previous visit in Ikea and I loved it, but I didn't buy it straight away. And this time I thought I definitely wanted to have it for Christmas. Can you imagine how pretty it is? This is a cake stand. This is the dome, the lid that goes on the cake stand. And this is the actual cake stand. How pretty with this uh, scalloped Hedge and this decoration within the glass is very very pretty. I look forward with the new um, range cooker, the Aga, to be able to bake some nice vegan plant-based cakes and then have them on display in my kitchen. Look how pretty it is especially with a cake in it. Or I could put biscuits or little cupcakes. Um, any, anything would look delicious in here. Let me move it on the side just to make sure it doesn't break. Then something else, it was really pretty and I didn't need it at all, but it was very pretty. I could not leave it there. See, is this um, little, um, let's say it's a cup like that with the lid can we say is a little container glass container and has got the glasses worked has got all this beautiful decoration all over it's very pretty and i'm sure i can find a good use for this i think it would go some sugar although i don't really use sugar um, maybe some uh, some sweets don't eat many sweets mm, I don't know um, let me know if you have any ideas and then these beautiful mugs if you have seen my previous videos uh, you may have noticed I have I had two of these mugs here 
and my boyfriend broke one one day so I only had one left and I was worried because I bought them a few years ago back quite a few years ago and uh, I thought they don't do it anymore IKEA doesn't do them anymore but actually they do exactly the same so I bought three and so with the one I have left it's a four and if I have some friends over we have four of these beautiful mugs I really like them then I bought this napkin very Christmassy they have got um, a holly and then some other Christmas uh, candle on this side an orange a brown heart a bit Christmassy on the same kind of uh, design a drawing that same pattern and color style I have this uh, cupcake paper the paper that goes around the cupcake uh, probably when um, I would like to bake some cupcake for this Christmas and then I have another one of these side dishes it's a square one but not really square because the hedges are rounded um, and so I thought it's very very pretty um, and because I only have one I could do with the second one I use it very often I like the size it's perfect size for some biscuits or a sandwich or I use it very often so I was happy to have a second one even if it's um, just me and a friend having a tea together at least we have the same matching side dish then these napkins I bought them before from Ikea I really love the pattern I think it's very pretty delicate and elegant at the same time um, and it goes for every season every occasion so I bought these ones and then I bought these lovely side dishes again because side dishes are the ones I use more than dinner plate side plates smaller plates I bought these um, glass ones they have got this decoration again. The glass is um, it's been uh, decorated, uh, if you can see through. So I like the fact that it's transparent, but has got a pattern. And it could go with uh, several of the mugs I own. Uh, there are four of them, four of these little plates. And they are good for a little snack, again a sandwich or a piece of cake. Um, they're a very good size, so I'm very happy with that purchase. Then I bought, uh, I could not resist, it's not my skin color or my color pattern usually. I would never buy something red, it's not a color I'm drawn to. But I thought for Christmas, for the Christmas decoration, this is very good because uh, you can see straight away, oh, that's the bag with the Christmas decoration inside. So I decided to buy this uh, huge, it's a big bag, uh, it has got a zip here at the front and it is uh, quite big. I suppose if you have a small Christmas tree, you could, fit, you could even fit your small tree. But I would like to buy a bigger tree for this year. Um, and so yeah, I thought this was a good idea. Then I bought curtains. Um, I bought some curtains last time. They are not good at all. They were cheap. Uh, I put them in the wash and they shrunk not only shrunk but they have got stains all over maybe the color that has gone um, but anyway i bought some more these ones are a bit more expensive than the previous one i bought they are look like linen but it's not linen and they are cream color white cream color they're a bit thicker than the one i had and these are for the living room uh, that is north facing and it face uh, onto a road a street let's say it's not very busy road at all so these ones are nice to prevent people from looking in and um, they are nice uh, and I love to have them floor to ceiling uh, length uh, curtains so I will show you when I put them up uh, how they look something else for the kitchen are these 
very festive uh, um, cloth, dish cloth, uh, with uh, this green Christmas trees, white and green. I thought it was very pretty. And then I bought more curtains. These ones are a little bit cheaper and a little bit more sheer because um, uh, I have taken out a few doors. Even my bathroom doesn't have a door anymore and I like to put curtains. I like to have everything on the white color scheme, color pattern. I like the white very much, but equally I like the te different textures of white. So I love to have the white wall and then the white textile of a curtain, white fabric that is different. So I want to experiment and see um, this curtain, how they look maybe instead of the other cheap idea ones that I have at the moment um, in, uh, in the bathroom. And then some more napkins because it's always uh, good <laughs> to buy napkins in Ikea. These are a bit more festive with this green uh, design. And then the last, not last, uh, I have a few things to show you. This little toy I thought for uh, my older girl, she would love it. She loves soft toys and I have not given it to her yet because um, I want, uh, well, my partner wanted to give it to her, so he chose for her. And so I leave it here in the bag. Uh, when he comes uh, to visit us, he will give it to my older girl. She's there waiting patiently for her dinner. Mommy is going to prepare dinner soon. So the last thing I bought is um, this huge box you may have seen. This is full of these glass containers. You probably know already about these and you have seen them in Ikea many times. I think they're very practical, very nice to look at, to put rice, flour, sugar, chia seeds, uh, nuts, uh, all that kind of stuff, pasta. So I bought uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of uh, bigger and smaller sizes. That's all from IKEA. That's all I bought from IKEA, and now I can um, start putting it away and sorting it out. The last thing I want to show you is not from IKEA. It's from the brand I mentioned in my previous video, Porte Merion. Uh, that is an English brand, it should pronounce, pronounce Port Marion, I suppose, in English. It's, again, measuring cups, I know. Uh, every time in one of my videos there must be some either measuring spoons or measuring cups, but I could not resist. These measuring cups are so pretty. Look how pretty is the botanical team is on this lovely measuring cups. And these ones actually come with uh, a quarter of a cup is written 2FL.OZ, which I'm sorry, I don't know what it stands for, or 56 ml milliliter. So you could also put uh, a liquid, uh, not only dry ingredients. So again, a third of a cup is 73 milliliters or 2.6 FL.OZ. How pretty is this lovely measuring cups with this botanical design. And again, there is, uh, this one is a half a cup or 113 milliliters with this. I think it's, it's so cute. I really like the design and the flowers with this rim inside, it has got green leaves, little leaves, and this is one cup, 8 fl. So these are nesting cups, I think they are like that, half a cup, one inside the other one, and the little tiny one is so cute. I love to have this one on display on my kitchen, but I also be using them definitely. I want to do more uh, cooking and more baking in the kitchen. So this will be for good use uh, for uh, um, when I start using my new agar.
good morning my friends I've just woken up and uh, this is my new pyjama and these are some presents so I'm not coming too close to the camera because I don't have any makeup just wash my face and uh, I wanted to show you I wanted to open with you this presents that my friend gave me um, I think it was a couple of days ago we met for lunch uh, in London it was a lovely place uh, uh, called pharmacy in London I didn't know but it's a completely vegan restaurant they have my god delicious I got um, a burger and it was so nice I've never tasted something like that if you live in London or if you have the opportunity to be around London go and try pharmacy is really nice the concept is food heal ourselves and I do believe in that anyway so she gave me she treated me she offered me the meal the lunch and then she bought me even presents I I don't know she was too kind too kind I feel that I owe her a lot now and she gave me this not only one <laughs> but two presents two big presents so she wrapped in this lovely silver with the golden ribbon paper there is Molly in the background who is uh, playing with the ball she got hold of a ball anyway and uh, I'm very curious and I have been uh, very very busy this couple of days I have put up some lights and I'm not an electrician, I have no idea how to do the electrics, uh, but I had to learn that one as well, of course. <laughs> so I did manage and now I'm waiting for the lampshade to be delivered and then I will show you the final result uh, when I have the lampshade. But now, let's open what she bought me. Let's open and see that. Uh, yeah, there are candle holders. Basically here you put uh, your tea lights. Uh, and you could put some of the um, artificial tea lights, uh, the one that have got a light that flickers. They look like real candles, but they're not. You could do also that. Look, you put the, can the candle holders. This would be a lovely centerpiece, um, center table for Christmas uh, or for any occasion if you have a friend or just to keep it on the table and then uh, you put these stones I suppose here around and uh, you could also put some um, pine pine branches or some greenery um, to give it a festive uh, more Christmassy look how pretty thank you very much And this one, I tried to have a sneak peek, I tried to break the paper and see when I was on the train on my way back home to see if I could see what it was, but it's well wrapped, it's in a box, so I've always wanted one of these, I wanted to buy one of these. This is a cheese board, um, although I don't have um, cow milk cheese or... Um, I, I have a vegan cheese and there are so many different varieties of vegan cheese that you can try, they're really nice. It has got the little um, knives here on the side um, to cut the different kind of uh, cheeses. When I, when I was living near Nîmes, Nîmes Montpellier, you probably some of you have watched my videos in Montpellier there was a lovely restaurant and they had amazing vegan cheeses all sorts of different cheeses and uh, yeah if I could buy some of those it would be such a lovely display and such a lovely treat for any guest I'm really really pleased with that she had such a lovely idea and uh, I wanted to show you this um, pyjama before I get changed into my normal citizen clothes so this uh, jumper which is a sweatshirt I, I think the correct term 
I really really like this jumper it's cotton 100% cotton and it's so lovely and cozy and warm and thick it has got fleece inside it's really really warm and it has got a little tie at the back here but I haven't done it because I use it for sleeping so I don't want the tie or the knot to bother me when I'm sleeping and is from Chelsea, from the brand Chelsea Piers. I didn't know this brand Chelsea Piers. And uh, I bought another one in cream, which has got lovely detail, which I will show you uh, in another occasion. But I really like to go in um, bed with the pyjama like this. And these are the leggings. They're 100% cotton from Primark, which uh, I think I have shown in another video. They are so comfortable, uh, very, very practical. I, I feel cozy and warm when I go in bed and I feel put together. I think because uh, many, many years ago when I was uh, a child, during the night we were woken up suddenly and uh, I went to my bedroom window. We put the um, blinds up and uh, the house in front of us caught fire and I don't know how old I was and I was maybe eight nine years old and uh, in that little child mind uh, what I saw was so terrifying although the fire didn't wasn't that close to us just the house in front of us caught fire and you could see the flames and um, my mom and my father must have said something. For some reason, being woken up in the middle of the night and having to leave the house in your pyjama for me was so much of a shock, of a trauma. I know, I know, it sounds silly, but that's what it was in my mind at that age. That since then, and it stays with me, because you know things that you get when you are a child that they stay with you that up to today I still need to go to bed and be like if I was dressed to go out once my partner said where are you going and he thought I was dressed to go out something that stayed with me forever that when I go to bed I need to be comfortable of course because I'm going to bed so it has to be cozy nice and comfortable but at the same time I want to look nice and feel nice and I really love this um, new jumper that I bought in TK Maxx. The house is a mess and I feel very much overwhelmed with all I have to do. Good morning my friends, I've just woken up and there is a mess around me. I need to edit this video so I wanted to say goodbye to you here and uh, make sure you have the video to watch for tomorrow and um, yeah in my next video I will show you everything I have bought recently for Christmas. Yes, I'm preparing for Christmas and also I would love to show you the finished kitchen. I have everything ready to finish putting up some cupboards on the walls and then finishing uh, organizing the kitchen and, and then showing you very nice pieces that I have bought recently. Has a uh, pick me up, let's say, because um, you know when you feel you have no energy at all and uh, you can't do much that give you happiness and satisfaction doing a little bit of shopping is something that okay makes me go by another week and then um, just to gather my energy and then uh, i will be able to do something better and uh, i've got many many things coming uh, many beautiful things coming up in the next weeks so stay tuned i hope you enjoy my videos I send you a big, big virtual hug to every one of you, wherever you are in the world. From this sleepy face, I've got my tea 
brewing behind me, ready to be drunk and help me waking up. <laughs> and I will see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.